Where are all the Adopt Me players now? Was there ever a zombie virus in Adopt Me? Everyone was turning green. <laughs> Dead of an innocent dog. Wow. You must work here for 200 years. We are trapped there as a penguin. No. Before we get into the video, we are going to be doing a crazy giveaway. We are giving away a neon fly ride unicorn to one of you guys. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your Roblox username down below. Oh, and uh, please make sure to use star code Jeffo to support Timkin. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Going on, front loops. We are here. Oh, it's kind of chilly out. Hold on a minute, Chimkin. You don't like the cold weather, do you? Oh, oh, he was excited to get out, but now he's a little bit chilly. So it is like a winter wonderland up in here right now. And it just got me thinking about how much this game has changed since I started playing. Like, remember, I was such a noob. The first time I played, I think I traded a sandwich for like a shadow dragon or something. Dude, Dude they're, just they're just flexing. flexing. Of, course of course they're, they're just, just flexing. flexing. Is she, is she actually, actually gonna? gonna do you think she oh, oh my gosh. gosh so while me and chimkin have grown a lot you have grown chunk chimkin but the game has also i mean look we have different weather we have the desert weather we have the winter weather all kinds of ridiculous stuff wait her dream pet is a chicken okay i can help are you fruit loop i don't think i know what a fruit loop means that answer was correct there you go enjoy the chicken <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, we got distracted by somebody, Chimkin. We have to be more careful. But look at all these different pets that we have collected over the years. And you know, Fruit Loops, it kind of got me thinking. We've changed a lot, the game's changed a lot, but what about these NPCs? You have like Santa over here, you've got Justin. Wait, Justin, no, no, no don't wait at me. You have not changed. I I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, Chimkin. Let, let me add him. Let me add him. No, we gotta go. We gotta go. And you've got Ada here at the strollers. Like, there are a ton of NPCs in Adopt Me that I feel like we just don't appreciate. And with the game changing so much, I was asking myself, has anything happened to these NPCs over the years? But dang, Chimkin was on the dark web and he found something really interesting. There were a bunch of videos exposing all of these NPCs and revealing what every single NPC in Adopt Me is doing. <laughs> now and honestly fruit loops some of them are kind of scary but i wanted to share these with you because these are pretty cool so where are all the adopt me players now so first of all i have to say thank you to sunny x misty for making these really cool creations i don't know which of these are true i don't know which of these are false but if they are real fruit loops the this is some of this is actually tea so I say we get into it and we find out the secrets behind these Adopt Me NPCs. Let's check it out. Which by the way, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes. For anyone who loves to learn and wants to explore their creativity, have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Well, Skillshare has a huge variety of classes ranging from photography to graphic design, illustration, you name it. Now, I was personally interested in joining Skillshare to learn how to edit videos faster in Adobe Premiere Pro. I ended up checking out the class by Joey Bettenberg, Become a Fast Editor in Premiere Pro, from slow to pro, and it ended up being super helpful. I learned some new keyboard shortcuts, strategies to work more efficiently with lots of footage, and making presets that I can use over and over again, which ended up saving me a ton of time on new projects. Now, I know that might be a little bit more advanced, but I also found some really great classes for like designing YouTube thumbnails, editing videos for beginners, and even how to start a YouTube channel. The first 1,000 people to use my special code JEFFO or to click the link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So check it out. What happened to the Adopt Me Players part two? Well, how many parts are there? Doug, Doug had just visited the pet shop and bought an egg. He always wanted a pet. Oh, he cared for the egg so much. Doug was so nice. A week later, a virus broke out. Everyone was turning green. If someone infected or bit you, they would turn into them. Bro, there was a zombie outbreak. This is like a serious virus. And they ate every egg and adopt me. Okay, Doug hid in the VIP room for days. Fruit Loops, I didn't know this happened. He forgot to lock the door. An infected person broke in and tried to bite Doug. Doug ran away, but the person was able to bite into the egg. The top of the egg was eaten and it was slowly turning brown. Doug got scared and left the egg there. He then disappeared. The new virus made a new egg called the cracked egg. So there used to only be a royal egg and a pet egg. 
and then a zombie bit the pet egg and bit the top off of it, and that's what turned it into a cracked egg. So I don't think the cracked eggs were ever supposed to be part of Adopt Me. I think they must be glitched versions of the egg after the virus infected them. Doug is always a nice guy. He says, woof woof, looks at egg and points, woof woof. He looks sad. He'll be upset if you don't buy an egg. So maybe Doug used to be able to talk, and maybe he was also kind of infected by the virus, but he wasn't a zombie. He just turned into like a half human, half dog? I'm gonna ask the Fruit Loops here. Wait, we got a nugget! Wait, we have Fruit Loops and nugget! I don't even have my joints on right now! That is so lit! I love it! I'll, you'll love to see it! Here, let, let's give you a red potion. But I need to ask the Fruit Loops a question here, too. Was there ever a zombie virus? in Adopt Me? Well, you know, if the cracked egg is such a virus egg, I feel like, wouldn't we be hatching like a mutant Cerberus or something? Whoa! Oh wait, that's just a dog. Oh, that's just a little puppy. Oh, he kind of reminds me of puppy, which we don't have a name for yet. We need to find a name for that puppy. He is, where is he? Hello? <gasps> what? What was going on? Free pet. Holy. He doesn't have a name, so you can just name him whatever you want. Oh, speaking of dogs, we got Pupper! We got Mega Pupper! I think that would have been sick if we had a blue dog, but you know what? I'm very appreciative of the puppy that we have. So we know what happened to Doug, allegedly. Chimkin, I need to get to the bottom of this. We need to see what other stories and secrets the Adopt Me NPCs are hiding from us, Chimkin. Let's check it out! What happened to the Adami players? Part, part 15! Wait a minute, part 15? How many different NPCs are there? I thought there were like 10. I didn't find it, part 15. Okay, pet trainer Shane. <sighs> Shane had a school where he would teach pets tricks. One day a customer asked Shane to train his dog. The customer was meant to collect the dog before 8 p.m. But after Shane taught the dog the tricks, the customer never came back. Fruit Loops, this guy just abandoned his dog with pet trainer Shane. We don't want to abandon pets. All right, what happened? Oh, it was getting late, so Shane kept the dog overnight. But then before midnight, the dog started acting weird. He kept barking for no reason. When Shane came to check on the dog, it had its back turned. Shane thought he was hungry, so he went to bring in some food. However, when he returned back, instead of an innocent dog, wow, a dog with three heads was standing there. I think this guy dropped off like a haunted dog that like turns into some kind of Cerberus at midnight. Kind of like Were Chimkin. <laughs> we still have it. It's kind of like Werewolf Chimkin, where if you fly Chimkin to the moon at midnight, he, he turns into the scary Mega Wolf Werewolf Chimkin. Oh, look at this doggy. Hey. Oh, crocodile. Okay, we are running. Okay, so how did this end? Shane was about to run for help, but the dog pounced on him. After that night, the dog and Shane disappeared. However, some people say you can read what happened that night on this very whiteboard. Fruit Loops, I kind of want to check what's on the whiteboard. I'm sort of scared. Pet Trainer Shane, you're still here, or are you an imposter? Are you a faker? Well, what does the whiteboard say? Need money, then sing, I'm a Barbie girl. That doesn't make any sense! What the heck? How is that the answer? Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm dancing and we are gonna sing. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I'm so plastic. It's fantastic. Well, uh, wait, wait a minute, Chemkin, that doesn't answer our question at all. I don't understand this secret message. For Loops, is there some kind of secret message here that we are just not seeing? Oh, I don't know, but I don't know if I can trust pet trainer Shane anymore. Oh, just stay back, buddy. Oh, that's kind of scary. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. That whiteboard did not give us any clues. It just made us look ridiculous. <laughs> Fruit Loops, I had no idea that all these different NPCs had ridiculous stories and they have a lot of secrets, like a lot of Adopt Me secrets happening. I mean, who else has different secrets here? Surely not. No. Fruit Loops, it, Elsa would not have any secrets. I know what you guys are already saying. There's no way that something bad happened to Elsa. She says, hey, welcome to my ice cream shop. Local penguins love to hang out. That's what I'm talking about. We love to see it, Elsa. How are you doing? So I feel like nothing really bad happened to Elsa Fruit Loops. Wait. Although, 
Wait, some of you guys are commenting that there is a story behind Elsa? Wait, we need to look it up and see. Oh, I don't know, I'm scared. What if she's like secretly evil and we find out and she attacks us? Okay, you guys will give me the courage if you guys can like the video in the next three seconds. Three, two, one. Did you do it? Oh, you didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we didn't. I guess this isn't interesting anyway, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna stop. Oh, no, I'm too curious, and I know you guys like the video. Thank you so much. Let's check this out. So, Elsa has some tea. We're gonna pull up this video exposing Elsa and showing where she is really right now. What happened to Adopt Me Players? Oh, no! It's our girl, Elsa! A new ice cream shop had opened. It was much different than the other shops in Adopt Me. Only workers were allowed in. However, nobody had seen anyone come out. One day, Elsa decided to buy some ice cream. So she went to the new ice cream shop. She ordered a strawberry ice cream and the ice cream appeared on the footstep. Oh, this is tea. So ice cream just appeared right out here. She started eating it until she bit into a piece of paper. The paper said, you have been selected to enter the ice cream shop. Please step forward. Elsa did as it said, and she entered the ice cream shop. However, she was shocked that the ice cream shop was filled with penguins. We already knew that. Wait, suddenly a golden penguin approached her. You're so stupid for entering the shop. You must work here for 200 years. If you fail, you will turn into a penguin. Elsa had no choice but to work there, and legend has it that the other penguins are failed workers. What? That is absolutely terrifying. There, we just entered. We, well, Fruit Loops, we just, uh, it's, getting, it's kind of dark in here. I'm a little bit nervous now. Hold on a minute. Oh my God, hey there. I would totally love it if you could give me a golden goldfish. Wait, Fruit Loops, it looks like all of these penguins are talking. How the heck are penguins talking unless they are indeed the failed Adopt Me workers? Bro, that's so terrifying. Oh my God, there is no way. Bro, no, I do not want to be a trapped worker. We have to get out of here. What? Why is it not letting me, it's not letting me press E. Wait, and we have a Fruit Loop trapped in here too. She says, help, I'm not the only one. Uh, hello, can somebody help me out? Oh boy, okay, this is a little spooky. I don't know, wait, I just, hold on. I just got a text from Elsa. She said, you shouldn't have come here. Now you'll be here forever. What in the world does that mean? No, no, I think we're trapped here. What the heck? She turned into a penguin too! No, Elsa, I don't want to be trapped here as a penguin, please! Okay, we have got to get out of this server. This is a haunted server. Let's get out of here, Tiffany. Bye, Fruit Loops.